Let's get rid of the reeds. Freedom Soup by Tammy Charles, illustrated by Jacqueline Alcantara. Freedom Soup. Today is New Year's Day. This year, I get to help make freedom soup. Tigran says I've got a heart made for cooking, and it's time I learn how. Outside, snow is piling cottony thick. Inside, warm, sweet air flows. Haitian compa pours through the speakers. The shake shake of maracas vibrates down to my toes. Tigran's feet tap tap to the rhythm. We pause our dancing and Tigran says, first bell is the epis. She places the pilon between my knees. Click clack, click clack. Together we mash the garlicky herbs to the compa beat. Then we add it to our meat and let it rest. Next is your favorite, the pumpkin. Tigran smiles and pulls it out of the boiling water. Ribbons of steam dance up to the ceiling. She lets me peel the pumpkin. The skin melts off like butter. Then Tigran browns the meat in a new pot and gathers the rest of the ingredients. Pumpkin, herbs, potatoes, carrots, cabbage, and celery. Your turn, she says. One by one, I slide the ingredients into the bubbling liquid. The pumpkiny garlic smell swirls all around us. Know why they call it freedom soup? Tigran asked. Because it's free? It's the same answer I always give. Tigran laughs her loud, belly deep laugh. Oh, Bell. Nothing in this world is free, not even freedom. She begins to tell a story, the same one she tells every year. A story of the place she was born, Haiti. Long ago, my country was a land of sugarcane and coffee fields, and my people were slaves working under the fiery sun, growing vegetables, making soup for their masters, soup they were never allowed to eat themselves. Freedom soup was only for the free. No soup for New Year's? My face feels hot. And then what happened? I asked. Years passed. The slaves' hands were tired. Spirits shattered, blood shed, freedom stolen, pride gone. Enough was enough. It was time to fight and win back their freedom. The trumpet blares. I hear it, Tigran. The revolution is here. The compa beat drums through my skin. I see them. The fire dancing in their eyes as they fight to take back what's theirs. I see the colors of freedom. The tanned streets of Port-au-Prince, covered in broken black chains, kettles of hot yellow soup, a sweet pumpkiny garlic aroma filling the air. I see Tigran's people, my people, eating soup to celebrate the end of slavery. Eating soup to celebrate the start of freedom. We clap our hands and sing to the sky, Haiti is free, freedom soup for everyone. Tigran lowers the flame while I throw in the pasta. 
My grandmother taught this tradition to my mama, who taught it to me. I taught it to your mother. And I'll teach it to my children one day. Tigran's dark sky eyes smile as we rest in the living room and she pulls me in real close. And they'll share it with everyone who will come after. The pumpkin garlic smell scents the air as cousins, uncles, and aunts arrive and dance. We share stories of Tigran's faraway island and taste freedom again and again and again. What a lovely soup you've made, Belle, they say. I puff out my shoulders wider than the Haitian mountains, stand so tall I can almost touch the moon. All around, just like my family, people gather and share. In our house, we celebrate until the last drop of soup is gone, gone, gone.